Hey, what's up? Uh, Crow here with another video. Got my friend Wally back. Rock and roll. Uh, as you can see, I used the uh, two cans two. of any style Copenhagen. And, uh, you know, I just went with Southern Blend because I haven't done a, a review on it. And I've been doing way too much wintergreen and mint, so I went ahead and got the Copenhagen long cut there. And, uh, Ooh. Of course, it's almost expired, but that's the best time. It's all right. It's all right, right now. Really. If you like it dry, I guess. Uh, all right, uncracked can, Copenhagen Southern Blend. Get a good golden look in the sun there. Sorry if I've just blinded you. Uh, so by April second, two thousand seventeen. April Fools' day after. Hundred <laughs> percent American, of course. So not blend. German, not Copenhagen, but American. U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company. Uh, let's go ahead and crack, crack that it. motherfucker. Whoops, sorry. I didn't mean to curse. We can curse. It don't matter. Yeah, all right. Hopefully we don't uh, get uh, demonetized, but that's all right. Not oh, making any money anyway. You got nothing to spit it in. Oh, shit. I forgot all my mud jugs. Fucking mud jug. I'm not at my house. I forgot. Fuck. I bought so many, and I got the roadies. Right They're in my car, too. We need a redneck roadie. Stat. But, uh, all right, smell. Burger King cup. Whoop. It's <laughs> right my face. All right, uh, Southern Blend, the smell. <clears throat> the smell is very natural. Um, it's almost like a mix between a natural and a straight. Toe jam. Like it almost smells, <laughs> it almost smells a little sweeter. Oh, yeah, I want to lick it. <laughs> Bye. All right, we'll look it in a minute. We got to pack it first. While he's packing, I like to interrupt here and show you what you need after you dip. A toothbrush and some Colgate, not a sponsor. You need to put it on the toothpaste. It's a, it's a hundred year old tradition to brush your teeth after you dip. If you don't dip, since you're south of the Mason-Dixon line, your teeth are gonna rot and fall out of your mouth. All right, go ahead. I was just showing the cut there. <laughs> I had to do that. Oh, shit. Ooh. He takes a lot in the mouth. Oh, not me? I'll let you repack it, no? Nah, I can't pack it. Pack it. <laughs> Cause I'm a magician. <clears throat> not a sponsor. <laughs> not a sponsor. Uh, same company, but still not a sponsor. But never. Brush your teeth with dip in your mouth. <laughs> is there right. only one mud jug? Would you share it? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here. All right. But uh, all right, Southern Blend. You know the smell. It's a mix between natural and straight uh, to me anyway. Um, the taste. It's almost just like a a sweeter natural Copenhagen. It's pretty much this, just a little sweeter to me. Mm. That's what it tastes like. I still like Tough Guy. Yeah, Wally's uh, addicted to Tough Guy. Yeah, I like, right now I do Grizzly Wintergreen. That's my favorite. It's cheap, affordable. That's called an everyday dip right Yeah, there. everyday dipping. And brush your teeth. Brush <laughs> those teeth. A couple times a day, three times. Uh, all right, smell. Gotta give it like a six taste. Uh, I mean, I give it a seven on the taste. I think it's pretty good. Um, I would definitely dip it again because this is like my second or third can of Southern Blend that I've had. Uh, this is the second or third can of Copenhagen Long Cut I've had it's, too. Yeah. Um, Copenhagen is great. I would actually buy that t-shirt that says this guy loves Copenhagen. Yeah, spit it out, man. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know. Um, it's so cold in this kitchen, by the way. The buzz um, is the same as a natural dip, I guess. It wouldn't be as crazy as Grizzly or Kodiak. And uh, overall, I guess uh, <laughs> I'd give it maybe an eight, just because it's Copenhagen and it's that good. It's all right. Uh, what would you give maybe it? You I give it about a six because I need a hunting arrow in my hand. This is something you want to hunt deer with. Deer can't smell this because it's Copenhagen. 
It's the only brand they can't smell. So you can go hunting with dip in your mouth. It's camouflaged. Thank you. Um, while he's starting conspiracies now. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't know if it's true. Um, comment down below. Comment down below. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know nothing about it, so maybe somebody out there will. Um, let's go ahead and line this thing what's up. That, what's it's that bothering that? me. Scott, what the hell is that name of that movie? Wolf and Napoleon Dynamite or Pedro. You know what that's from? Vote for Pedro? Vote for Pedro. It's too late to vote now. Trump already won. Trump. You fired. Trump. You fired. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but uh, overall, you give it a six? Yeah, I give it a six. I'm not a fan of it. Overall, I give it an eight. Um, I like it. You like it? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm more of a natural yes, man. Uh, he's pretty much the opposite of me, and that's why we're good in videos, because he's got the other side of the opinions. Like, he, he likes mint and uh, wintergreen a lot more than I do. Toothpaste. Toothbrush. Um, maybe next time I'll do a chew review, maybe a snooze review. I need to get back into the snoozes. I've only done one review so far, I think, on those. So, yeah, I need to up my game on that. But uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Crow out. Peace.